word of your welcome. This is Arid Land Development Program based in Karamoja region but in Abim district. So uh, as a ADP Arid Land, we normally get donations from Wada Dad. Under the, the, the B Champion project and the establishment of honey collection centers and making the RRTC, which is ADP, to boom and become like other RRTCs across the region, the, the Wada Dad was able to give some funding for the renovation of the honey house. If you would have seen it at the, at the first, it was really in a poor state. But I appreciate what I've done and told at large that you can see a, a, a nice building which is standing in front of you. Our honey is normally received in the honey processing, in honey receiving room, which is here. We come receive here honey. Mm -hmm. It is sorted and graded in different, in different grades. We have grade A and we have grade B. And from there, we, we pack it in, in the different formats, then we proceed to the processing room. So when our farmers bring honey, this is the room where the honey is received. So from there, honey is brought here, and here, that, that's where it is processed. Normally what we have, we have the, the method we normally use here for processing is what we call the drip and settling method. You bring. So here, we, no, we normally use a drip and settling method in this room, which normally is, when you go to other books, it's called the flotation method. While using the flotation method, we use the straining cloth to tie on the bucket, and then uh, the honey is uncapped, and then it is left to drip all over the night for two to three days, then you remove it. It is long, the process is long, but it's nice. So that's what we do. You get a, a clean bucket, which is food grade. Then uh, from there you get a strainer. This is the straining cloth, which is clean. Then gently you, t you, you, you put it, wrap it on the, on, the, on the bucket. So this is it. We tie it. And after tying, we get the, 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 the combs, the crude honey the farmers have brought for us. Then after chucking, and that's where we pour, and then it is left to drip for three to four days, then later removed. This is a processed honey, eh? refined honey, but you can see the way it is taking time to drip. Eh? But uh, we appreciate uh, the, the, the support from Ward and Dad. We have been able to get the honey press for processing honey. Still, this is manual, but it is better than this one takes a lot of time. So here in the, in the, in the, the this man, manual honey press, we normally get the, the combs, the crude combs. And these are put in the, in, the, in the strainer. And here we go, they are put inside here. And using, uh, using pressure, we roll this. Eh? Then using this, it, it helps us squeeze the honey. And honey is squeezed out, it passes through these porous places. Then there it flows gently into the airtight bucket, the clean bucket, and here we receive it. Then still from here, the honey is put in the, in the settling tank for settling before it is taken to the other point. Then we have been, we are grateful still through one and another and to another, we are able to get the, honey, the, the, the manual honey extractor. And this is it. You can come and have a look. This one is normally used to process honey in uh, honey from the frame hive, the, the lungs growth. But uh, it is not yet yet in use because most of our farmers here, they have the local types of hives and the KTB. And for you to use this machine, it calls for lungs growth hive, which most of our farmers as per now, they cannot afford to purchase. They are, they are still pushing on. But this is it. So this is the honey, the, the manual honey extractor. So we feel that we put um, the frames here as you think. Then after there, the frames are put, the honey frames after being uncapped. Then here we roll it in the process of rolling. The pressure inserted helps the honey spill out from the combs. Then after the honey has spilled up, it settles down. And here we bring a bucket 
put here and we, we open and receive the honey from here down. So when we pack honey, it is taken, it is packed uh, in different sizes, but most of the smaller sizes have been taken up by, farm, by customers. And then as per now, we have the, 100, the 500 gram bottle, we have the one kilogram bottle, and then we have the seven kilogram jerry can for honey. But most of the honey are still in the tanks and uh, we are yet to package more to dispatch to the, to the market. So when our, our honey is brought from there, from the packaging, this is where we receive it. And then the others are dispatched off to the different um, stores or shops and the retailing shops where we do the retailing for our honey. So this is it. Then uh, when we finish the, that process, the, the empty combs that are removed from after processing honey, the other crude honey, so the empty combs. We don't throw those combs, we utilize them. And those combs, that we, are, we normally use them to make beeswax. So this section you see here is the beeswax processing room. Eh? So the, be the beeswax is processed inside here. So this is a sample of our processed beeswax. And uh, I'm just looking forward to adding value to it making candles, lotions, and other things because I know, I'm, I know how to make them, but I'm just waiting for my supervisors and authorities to permit me and give me what I need in order to make the different value-added products out of the, the beeswax. But still, uh, I, I, I extend my thanks to Ada and Ada and Tornado that we were able to get a machine which processes what is the the happy works meter, the solar happy works meter, and here it goes. So, but normally we have been using the other local way of processing wax, where you get the empty combs, wash them, then after washing the empty combs, they are then put in, an, in a big saucepan and placed under heat, so the source of fire, the three stone stove or the stove, and there we, we use a rod and stir it up, after it's ready, we get that honey and pour it in a bag, in the, that wax and pour the melted wax and pour it in that bag. And there we squeeze it. We squeeze the, 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 the liquid wax out of it. And then after squeezing, it is why we squeeze it in a, in, a, in a container of our choice. Then after, there it is left to cool. And from cooling, that's where we are able to, the next morning, to get our wax and they clean it up, and there you go. So that is the method we have been using. But I'm grateful that we are able to, to get, uh, during this project, we are able to get the Happy Wax Melter, which we are soon going to be to, to put into use. But as per now, it's just because uh, it's not the honey flow season here in in, in our place here, so most of the honey that are in the stores and we are already processed, and even the empty combs that we are remaining, we had already used the, 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 the other method I was explaining to process it. This is uh, our simple storage room. Here we see the airtight buckets. Normally they are dispatched off to the field during the, uh, the honey flow period where farmers pick them and then they, they, they collect honey in the different bulking centers, honey collection centers. And there, from there, we go and pick and bring back to the honey storage, honey, honey receiving room, then it goes through the process as I've been telling you. Then still, we have here our, our packaging materials and these are the jerry cans in different sizes. We have the 20 liter capacity jerry can, the five liter, the three liter jerry cans and the, these small jars that have, that have got out of stock and they're just bringing me from Kampala. So this is our, the, the, simple, the simple display of our honey processing, our honey storage room. Some other processors who, who, who buy honey from here in bulk, like Green Gate and others, they come and we, 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 we sell them honey, processed honey, in bulk, they take, then they package in small jars. So that's why we have these other bigger jerry cans. But still, we have customers who eat honey, who even buy that jerry can. I have them, those who just order and they take like their good months without buying these jars. 
they opt for Eureka. We are grateful as ADP that we have a supportive staff in the field that helps uh, us as ADP to our farmers to go through the good apiary management practices so that in the end of it all we are able to get good products on market. And all these, all the efforts, they are being carried out by the guys you see here. These are our apiary masters attached to ADP and uh, being attached by Tornado and they are doing a very great work in field as you go outside and see and get testimonies from different farmers.